Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Seven Days to Die. Today, the night time is in our midst, but that is not going to restrict our activities, especially with some of the goals we got in my- Oh, I forgot to sell the 285 bucks, god dang it. Alright, that's okay, we'll, we'll make sure to sell that a, a little- I'll, I'll put that right there. Dude, that could have been like 1500, that was about to be a stack and a half, a rack and a half, rucka rucka. Also, we could have sold the compound. I, I guess I missed a couple things. No biggie, though. We made great progress on the 44 Magnum. Acquired a chainsaw and have all the necessary components for an auger, except the recipe for it. So, we are going to be going through the struggle of uh, trying to hopefully learn that recipe. Probably need to go to a ton of bookstores, ton of, uh... But I, I think we looted most of the crack of book tower. I don't know. Maybe I've missed like a book that one of the traders was selling uh, But also the second thing that we are gonna be doing that hopefully we can knock out tonight before at least before the daytime happens too much I also do want to go grab that airdrop before I completely forget about it I think it was somewhere like out there. We'll, we'll find it. I believe in our Easter egg hunting ability All right as a child. I was not the greatest so now I must make up for my due time But uh, what I was saying is that as you can also see that we're a little bit low on gas and our favorite thing the chainsaw and our favorite thing the mini bike both are pretty dependent on gas so uh, we are also probably going to hopefully today be able to knock out a raid a looting run on one of the factories uh oil factories I, I, don't, I don't remember the exact name of it but i think you guys know what i'm talking about and i'm so lucky i didn't just break my cankles man that would have been awful but alrighty then also i still can't believe last time we survived a freaking horde attack you, you won't believe this. We survived a horde attack by none other than a millet like the army Legit the army came through and attacked us the undead army like not like oh not, not like a saying like oh the undead army zombies No, 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 this is literally all undead mil ex military officials Military soldiers and uh, one other thing. Uh, oh hazmats those types of things. So it was very sketchy also I really hope I don't hit a landmine. This is the absolute worst time. I should have stuck to the roads, man. I made a boo-boo. I'm going back to the roads. Uh, yeah, okay. No landmines. Yay. Hopefully there's no landmines out here in the middle of the road. That would suck. Hopefully our light will light them up, though, and we'll be able to notice them. Somewhere out here should be the airdrop. And somewhere out here should be my... Oh, remind... Oh. You know what else is out here? Me wishing you guys an absolutely fat for fantastic day. Hope you guys are having an awesome one that just continues to keep on getting better from here on out. Whether that be from watching the video, maybe cracking a smile on that gorgeous little face of yours, or maybe just whatever else is going on in your life. Regardless, I just want that day to get more fan for fantastic. And if you guys can do that for me, I'm telling you right now, my day is going to be more fan for fantastic. And Facebook, you know, would be fan for fantastic if, if you don't. Don't hit me with the message every time, dude. Every time I go to record. All right. Now that that problem's been solved, only... Uh, uh, dude, Facebook. Facebook just... It hates me. Uh, the airdrop should be somewhere out here. Now, the problem is we used to have a waypoint exact... Yeah, there it is. At least we had an approximate idea of where it is. So that, that that's good. That'll save us a little... I mean, we could have went straight there. That would have been easier. But hey... We found it because through my dingitude, I kind of did misplace the quick waypoint marker, which kind of, eh, you know, makes things difficult. Where the hell is it? What? Oh, is, is that it right there? Okay. Now, stay right there, mini bike. Don't slide anywhere. We have to be careful. What the hell? Is that a light? What, what is, is that? The I don't know what that is. Okay, we do need to be a tad bit on the careful side, though, in acquiring our beauty. The supply drop. The air drop. Because I did see some zombies nearby. Oh, 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 yes! The augers! This is exactly what we needed, man! What the? Ah! I'm accelerated! And an AK! Just a casual AK. I could probably sell that for six grand. I, I, we might have to do exactly that. Holy hell! Talk about the greatest airdrop ever! Exactly what we needed when we needed. Maybe this is seven days to die returning the favor for how much time I spend playing it. And also to make up for the fact that Facebook constantly interrupts my recordings. Maybe seven days to die is like, all right, I feel bad for Star. I feel bad for the Papa. So uh, I'll help him out. And I think the help did happen and it feels amazing. I can't believe that that just happened. Literally, I just mentioned how we were gonna have to probably scavenge throughout everything and hello, I'm intrigued. However, it is the middle of the night. Now might not be the best time. No, I don't think it will be, but still. 
just, we were literally just talking about this and all of a sudden the game's like, all right, I mean, if Star's talking about it, might as well give it to him. And we acquired it, so why don't we head back home? And, uh, uh, I said we we're gonna go to the oil place. It's, it's nighttime anyway. Why don't we just take a second to become very happy little lads and craft up an auger and, and enjoy the life of the auger chainsaw dynamic duo. A dynamic duo that now we only need to go raid an oil factory for. Well, would you look at that? A conveniently placed oil factory. And then... We will be absolutely, positively, totally freaking set for the future. Hey there, Horde. What's up? Hope you didn't notice me. Really hope you didn't notice me. Okay, they didn't notice me. I think those dudes ran straight through our base, so maybe perfect timing. That angle that they were at, I feel like they were coming from my base, which means they ran through my base. So, perfect timing to not be at home. Handling wandering hordes in the middle of the night is always the worst time. Okay, and with that, I can toss that thing there. I mean, I'll, I'll leave the light there, you know, give us a little bit, a little bit of an attention. A little bit of some spotlight. The moon should be setting here relatively soon, but okay. Why don't we try and assemble? Like, uh, that, that's perfect, too, because, like, we could have lucked out or, like, not gotten good luck, built the chainsaw instead, but no. That thing honestly buffed out, and everything just ended up freaking perfect. That's amazing, man. That is amazing. Like, imagine if we were unlucky, we got the chainsaw blueprint. We could at least upgrade the chainsaw, but no. We got that auger blueprint. Exactly. That's why you always go after airdrops, lads. That thing can have amazing stuff. And also, I do have an AK. I'm going to put the AK there because... Oh, hold on. Does that AK come preloaded with ammo? Does it? Oh, it does. Yes, it does. Well, good thing. If you hit assemble on it, it unloads it for you, which is really handy because now we got even more ammo to add to the stockpile. Just broke 222. The triple twos have been broken. We still got our AK, which is not being sold. No freaking way. That ain't happening. Uh, we got the different shotgun ammos. Like, our arsenal is prepared and it is not to be trifled with. We might have to Rambo this next horde because our bases aren't super prepared, but... With the type of weaponry we got, I wouldn't even be scared about Ramboing it. But okay, time to try and assemble this thing. We need the blade. Boom shakalaka. We got the blade. We require an engine of the small variety. Boom shakalaka. We have an engine of the small variety. And finally, we require handlebars. The one thing that might be a little bit hard to acquire because we need a workbench. Still haven't crafted one of those up, but I think we finally can because uh we can we can learn we can learn that thing we got these points to utilize that's exactly the point of them do we have mining 69er well, let's go up a level in that because why the hell not any any stamina things here actually hold on yeah uh ooh, 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 the tyrannosaurus yeah faster stamina gain you can never go wrong with that we got four points left over we'll save that for now but that was some key High key, amazing key. Point investment, love what we did with the place. Mwah, beautiful, but okay. Now, we have to actually craft up the workbench. It requires a claw hammer and a wrench. Good news, I have both of these items. Wrench, and I had a claw hammer somewhere. Hold on, hold on, claw hammer. The two things that we required. What is next? Mechanical parts, 20 of them. Good thing we got more than 20. Also, daytime is coming on hella quick. It feels a lot lighter. Not because the mini bike is the freaking that mini bike's headlight is seriously like the sun. It is crazy. Look, look at how bright that stuff is, man. I gotta turn that thing off. Uh, but okay, we got the mechanical parts. What else we need? Forged iron and 50 wood. I will acquire the wood. And we need six more of the iron. Where will the iron come from? Undoubtedly, indubitably, from the forge. Hello, Fudge. I require six iron. Now, not mix. Dang it! All right. We may require to smelt down some more iron. This is indeed probably required because we've used our other iron on other shenanigans. That is what we specialize in, after all. Utilizing it on shenanigans. So we need five more. Which means we gotta wait for like 50 more of the iron to melt, but we got this one right there. Then after that, is that all that we need? Yep. After that, we gonna be bueno. 
We gonna be Gucci. And I know you guys are probably saying, oh, well, you could just go over to the trade. Well, true, we could actually go to the trader to knock this thing out. But with daytime coming, maybe maybe we'll save the finishing touches for another day. Although I would like to craft the work. I see, I don't want to put the workbench down here, though. Because the one problem with that, right, is that we can't pick it up once we put it down. And we were going to move to kind of creating our own base, so... I'm kind of iffy on investing on that, so instead, we'll just kind of put all the stuff here. Right, we'll make sure to remember where it is, and then next time, super easy, super, super easy access. Keep some wood around with me. Put away the beaker, put away that thing. And we got an inventory ready for loot, if I've ever seen one. Mm-hmm. How, how's the iron looking? Beautiful. Let's get six more of them bad boys going. Because so I was actually looking to repair our sledgehammer. The sledgehammer is bay, and when it's hurt, it's not so bay. So, uh, actually, we might we might super quickly repair this thing. Because heads have not been exploding at the rate that I would like them to explode at. So, uh, let's repair that bad boy. The sledgehammer... Oh, it got that bad? Man. Are you serious right now? Now, do me like that? Ah, it's, it's, still, it's still really good. 46 entity damage. I'm happy with that. We got to start investing into some of those, uh, traits, some of those perks that give us a little bit more in terms of that stuff. We have some more iron, there we go, and we'll have, we'll have plenty to go after that, but now begins our mission for gas, and also our mission to turn off this insanely br- Oh! Almost died there. Oh, not died, but my foot almost died. Turn off this insanely bright light. Okay, I'm just gonna drive it there, because then I can turn off the light, and we can drive there. Double whammy. How can you go wrong? Trick question! You can't! You can't. But okay. I I don't actually remember looting one of these in such a long time. I'm usually drawn by the flashier. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm usually drawn towards things like uh, weapon stores, the repair stores. You guys know what I'm, uh, the one? The one, the tool shops. I, I, I can't think of the name right now for some reason. But the tool shops and pill stores as well. Those are the big ticket items that draw my attention. Also, where the hell is this thing? I feel like. Did we just pass it up? We did. Is that it? Or is that- I think that's it right there. Okay, I think that's it. I mean, we're not east enough. That was our problem. Ah. Time to go to this oil manufacturing. Hopefully not blow ourselves up because the military base is right there. And those people just love putting landmines all over the place. And here we have it. The oil place. Look at that beauty. Now that's what we're after. Well, actually not- I mean... Well, we could become rich Arabian princes on the side as well, okay? Because uh, oil still sells for a ridiculously high amount in this game, so you can't go wrong with that. But uh, okay, so this this is this fence goes all around. We're gonna have to break through it. I'll break in on the side, be a little cheeky. I love the mining 69er perk, but now look at that. We're doing 80 damage a pop with the pickaxe. Nice improvement, if you ask me. Uh, we have the wrench. Can we is this gonna blow like can we mm, oh hello gas pump see I'm scared of one thing But I do want to find out so let's just make sure we're at full health <laughs> Before uh before we find out I mean you guys might be able to start piecing together the stupidity that I'm planning But it might not be stupid. It might be revolutionary. Right? You never know until you try it. So uh, what happens if I ah does, does it work? Oh, it does it does is, is it not gonna blow up? Woo! Oh no, look at that. We, we can't take it apart. I was expecting more on the gas side, but that's okay. We looted the gas out of there. And I, yeah, I've never actually been in this place. This is intriguing. That's just iron if we break it. I'm trying to kind of like, just kind of gauge the area. See if there's any gas barrels lying around. I would have expected more gas barrels lying around to be honest. Where the hell does that lead to? Woo! Actually, I wonder what's at the top. I wonder if there's water up there, if there's legitimately, like, oil would flow out if we broke into it. Is that unlocked? Oh, thought I read unlocked. Okay. But yeah, we could maybe... Oh! Would you look at that? Woo! Yeah, would you look at that? Oh. Hold the phone. Wooden frames. Can you help me out here in my, uh, small predicament I'm in? I wonder what the hell's up there. I actually really want to find out. Even if there's not anything up here, I feel like there could be, man. If there's a chance, you know that I want to utilize it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Gorgeous. Oh! Hello. 
How do you do? Oh. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll just break into the side of you. I I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not going down that thing. <gasps> a secret, you say? Oh, oh, oh. Let's hope I don't break anything. Oh! Now nah, that's ninja like. Yeah, what the hell's down here? I thought you guys were storing oil in here. What the hell could there possibly be? A gun store bot? Mm, I'll take it. This randomly secret gun store bot? Well, well, I think I found one of my new freaking favorite just like low-key loot locations because th this place has no business having the type of loot that it does but for some reason it just started having it. look at that we can get out of there with the okay that that just makes me wonder what's on top of the oil thing if this actually has something inside i think we all know there's got to be something inside the oil so now we just got to uh make our way over without dying gorgeous like a ninja uh, I wonder. Okay, let's try to break in. Kind of through this way. No point in breaking in through the top. We can see here if there's anything inside. Oh, ho, ho, ho. There's going to be something. I can say that for sure. Oh, look at that random O. Okay, never mind. It's crippling disappointment. Nothing, no, nothing new here. No, nothing new. Okay. Whoop. Not that. That's surprising, man. If anything, I would have expected that to have more secrets, but maybe they're playing the meta. They're like, if they expect that to have the secrets, secretly we put the secrets in here. They'll never expect it. Next level stuff. Now, the next thing I'm wondering is if it goes down. Still, though, I I enjoy this place. I might have to actually start looting these things if we found... Oy, 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 You know... It, it makes you wonder. Yeah, no, I don't- I, I'm not wondering that hard. I ain't wondering. <gasps> okay. Okay, on one hand, this is actually amazing, but on the other hand, one wrongly placed bullet or explosion, and we are extremely dead. And I mean extremely dead. Dude, that, that's definitely what this is. There's definitely some sort of tripwire trap that's gonna blow everything up. But if there isn't, I just became the happiest man alive, and mission has been accomplished, and... We'll be able to harvest. We'll be able to drive freaking all the way to freaking China, dude. That's how much gas we got, okay? We our 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 motorcycle will be able to go over water from the pure amount of gas it has. I'm still very skeptical though. This is way too good for how easy it's been to loot. We haven't seen one enemy here. And it is sketching me out. I cannot lie about that. But dude, oh my god. What was that? Just a casual 25 gas barrels? What? It's insane. Now here's the thing, do these go to the outside or do these? Oi! They do not. Why is it so quiet, man? It's eerie. I don't like it. It's eerie like Lake Erie. Why do I know that? Because I'm by Lake Michigan. And those two are some of the Great Lakes. Like all I can hear is my footsteps, man. Like I hate it when this happens. Not even any ambient noises. Oh, hello. Now this makes a man wonder. Maybe? Woo! Was that me? I heard something drop. Holes in the roof. Talk about sketchy. Well, then I want to see. Anything in there? Oh, nope. Oh, it's, it's too wide. I could have put that together a little bit earlier. <laughs> oh, this is still... No, that's back to the outside. Okay, well... I'm not gonna give up on looting this place, although the fact that it is so quiet is still creeping me out. So I would love for that to change, game, please. All right, any noises? I'd appreciate all of them. Okay, and even a zombie sent my way. It's just suspicious at this point. And I don't like being suspicious. Because usually when I'm suspicious, seven days to die, that's when things just get extra bad. Okay, that's back to the outside. This is back to the outside, too. Uh, yep, looking like it. Okay, we might have to move up to the second floor then, boys. It's looking like that is the move. Uh, actually, never mind. Don't care that much. No, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to get into there from the roof. Who knows? Okay, second floor. How many floors this place got? Looks like three. Eh, it's, not, it's not too unreasonable. Like, okay. I was actually expecting this to have a lot more. St Ooh, I'll take that football helmet. Brown shirt. Okay, okay. I see a door. I see it. Don't worry. Don't worry, usually when a door is like that, I feel like it's barricaded for a re- Oh! What is it? Why, why is the bathroom, like, 
Who the hell's using scrap metal for bathrooms? What in tarnation? That's, that's, oh, okay, we got some poop. Uh, beautiful. Okay, at least no poop in that one. Got at least that person remembered to flush. Uh, yeah, no stall doors. Literally using scrap metal, the stuff that we build freaking ghetto rig bases out of is, uh, <laughs> that's what they built their bathroom out of. So gorgeous, man. Gorgeous. Literally just flat out scrap metal. Uh, but okay, there's only one doorway for us to go. And that's here. And a doorway. I said doorway. We can still go upstairs, though. This just goes to the outside. There's a weird, cheeky little door here, though. Ooh. I'm intrigued. What you got for me, game? What you got? Not even a single zombie to try and contest us, though. Yeah, I am very suspicious. Maybe after we killed the freaking army of the undead. Maybe Seven Days was like, okay. I think Star might be getting too powerful. Like, we should just amass our force. That's what's happening. The zombies, they're getting ready for the day 14 horde. Like, why bother attacking me now when they could wait and attack in larger numbers? I cracked the code, baby. I cracked it. Ain't, mm -mm, ain't no zombie smarter than Papa Star. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Except the zombie that's gonna sneak up on me as soon as I turn around. That zombie's a genius. Uh, ah! Oh, wow, he, he didn't. Let's look at that. A hunting knife book. You really had to put that in a safe. Really had to keep that hunting knife book safe. Can't have that knowledge getting in anyone else's hands. Way too high priority. Oh, oh, oh no, we've already been. Mm. Okay, dude, chill, chill on the moans. Chill, chill there, buddy. Okay, like I get it. It's hot out. It's nice. It ain't that nice. Uh, wow. This thing really ends abruptly, doesn't it? I wonder. There's still the roof, though. Maybe this is gonna be roof access. Maybe. There could be something on the roof. We usually do find, like, random bags and stuff on the roof. No? What the hell? I mean, like, I can't complain. All things considered, this was still, like, amazing. At least for our purposes, but I, I guess I was just expecting more. I got high expectations. I apologize. And check this out, man. This is how you climb wherever the hell you want. Whenever the hell you want. Three wooden frames. You're good to go. Okay, I hope this roof doesn't collapse. I've had roofs collapse before. Due to the fact that my dude in-game... He's a chubster, you know, just like me in real life, a little adorable little chubster. I will, however, run across the roof for fun, because it is fun watching these things collapse. <laughs> Doesn't look like that's happening. Well then, that was a quicker looting run than I expected it to be, but I'll take it, man. I'll take that to the bank. Oh, parkour! Yeah, we, oh, we, we check this out, man. This is how you parkour wherever the hell you want to go. Hail to the yeah, but okay. I thought that, that would take at least a little bit longer. I thought maybe there'd be like a basement, but not nah, pretty simple loot altogether. But if you need gas, man, that one main room, you're set for life. You're set for a long time. So hopefully there's some more of these types of uh, clunky oil companies around here somewhere. I, I feel like I've seen, I've only seen the one that factory might have gas barrels, but listen, I, I trust the thing that literally has oil built into it. Well. And at least on this side. The other side, the O is kind of magically floating. It is going to raise questions, but that's okay. Questions are not always that awful. You know, they, they they can be okay. But perfect time for us to make it home. Begin crafting the workbench. You know what we can do? We'll top things off by heading to the trader. We'll sell off a couple of these last little things that we picked up. Make a last little bit of that money. And, uh, be good to go, yeah? I think that that is a gorgeous plan of action. And I would hope that you guys would agree with me on that point. But, okay. Mini bike is there. Wooden frame is there. And the final letters are here. So, what do we need for the handlebars? Super quick light. Super, super quick light. What we need, what we need. Two duct tape, two leather, one mechanical park, six short iron pipes. Okay. Uh, I already forgot whatever the leather mechanical duct tape. Boom! Got the duct tape. Uh, short iron pipes. I know I had some of those here. Don't tell me I'm out of short iron pipes. Oh, there's the mechanical. I can take those. Are we actually missing short iron? No freaking way, man. Did I scrap? No, I've always hit. Mmm. Mmm. Well, then, there's a good chance I am missing them, to be honest, though. My eyes, they do deceive me at times, but today, maybe they're here. No, I, mm. 
the hell? Do I, I don't remember ever scrapping them down. So do we have leather in any of these? I feel like we should have some leather. I, I guess we are shorter on things than I thought we were. Oh, there's the leather at least. Okay, well, I mean, I'm sure we could buy some short iron pipes or worst, 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 worst case. What do they cost to craft? A forged iron. Ten iron, five clay. Yeah. Yeah, what, what, what? I'm sure, yeah, just to be safe, might, might as well bring, uh, bring some of that forged iron with. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Jafil, Memon. Jafil. And along with that, though, let's bring these last couple of things that we're going to try to make a quick buck off of to top off the rest of our inventory. And things are going to go well to cap off today's episode. So while uh, we do make our final rodeo, our final drive over here to victory and to what will be amazingness. I did bring the chainsaw, didn't I? Or, you know what? No, we don't have the inventory room right now. We'll start off the very next episode by crafting that thing and then going to work with our newfound power tools, collecting the resources and honestly preparing and probably surviving the horde given like how the timing's shaping up. I think that next episode, the horde, we won't just be preparing for it. I think that it will hit. And I hope that we are prepared for when it hits. This one's gonna be a doozy. All right, twice as far in. I'm guessing it's gonna be twice as hard just because math, well, who knows? Maybe my math is completely wrong. Jimmy, my boy, do I got something uh, for you? Sure thing, man. Let me empty out this AK and a couple of things that I wanted to sell you first, though. Sound like a deal? Of course it does. Oh, money, money, money. Money. This feels so good making money, man. Feels so good. Uh, you want some beans? You want a rock? Souvenir? Free of charge? No, he doesn't even want a free of charge. Shows you how valuable rocks are. But all right. A sail now a sail. the oh yeah, you got you get you got a. Uh, I'm not a scumbag. Stop! Stop it, Jimmy. You're so adorable. Give me just 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 get give me the pipe, okay? Give me the six pipe, and we're good. And then we can begin crafting up the handlebars that we require. And next episode, we will have that which we seek. But other than that, that is going to be wrap it up me for now. Thank you guys all ton for watching. Wish you nothing but the most fan freaking fantastic day in the world that only gets more fan freaking fantastic from here on out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and let me know in the comments section down below. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Have an awesome one. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.